Okay. Okay, good afternoon, students. Good afternoon, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Today we will be discussing on the topic of specimens of digestive system. Okay, visceral organs. Visceral organs are what? Visceral organs are mostly internal organs. Okay, internal organs in the human body. Okay, so today we'll be discussing about the visceral organs. Visceral organs, which is in the digestive system, I have already discussed the gastrointestinal system in the last class. I think you are familiar with it. It's not new to you all. So in the last class, before I have all I have even already showed you in the lab. I said now in the specimen in the lab you can see. It. So today, okay. So this is a small intestine. Can you see? It? Can you see? Yeah. Huh. So this small intestine now you will get in the lab. Okay, I'm just showing you in this way. So we will just uh, revise again. Okay. So this is a small intestine. So the small intestine has three segments. Okay, that is the this one, duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. This one, duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Okay, these are the three parts of the small intestine. Okay. So this uh the small intestine. What is the length? 22 foot or feet, you can say. It is a muscular tube. Okay, it is a long muscular tube. And uh, in if you meet, uh, if you convert into meters, it will come about 6.7 to 7.6 meters. Okay, it is about 6.7 to 7.6 meters long. And it is convulated. Convulated means what? Convulated means it's not straight. It is... Um, it is convulsed. It is um, what to say twisted. You can say okay. Convulsed means it's twisted in this form. Okay, it is a long. Uh, this small intestine is a long muscular tube, and the the length of the small intestine is twenty two feet. And if you convert into uh, if you convert into meters, it is six point seven to seven point six meters, and they are convulsed. Convulsed means twisted. Okay, and where they are located? They are located in the central and lower abdominal cavity. Okay, central, lower means it's located in the center. Okay, center in the middle, in the lower cavity means in the lower side. Okay, okay, are you clear now? Where is the, the location of the small intestine, the parts of the small intestine, the length of the small intestine? Are you clear? Any doubts? Um, uh, any doubts? Uh, any doubts? So this is the small intestine. Again, I'm repeating. This is the small intestine which you will be getting in the lab. Okay. So this small intestine, the small intestine, it has got three parts. The first one is the duodenum. The second one is the jejunum, and the third is the ileum. Okay, and this small intestine, they are muscular, muscular tube. Okay, convulsed tube. Convulsed means it's twisted. It's not straight. Okay, so they are twisted, and the length of uh, the small intestine is how much? 20, 22 feet. And if you convert into meters, 6 to 6.7 meters. Okay. And where does it lie, this small intestine? This small intestine, it lies in the center. In the center part of the abdominal cavity. In the lower abdominal cavity. means abdomen, downside. In your stomach side. Okay, lower side. So it is located in the center. Okay, are you clear now? Is it clear to you? Huh? Yes. Okay. Okay, if is it clear, then let's see the duodenum. The duodenum is the first segment of the small intestine, means 
it is the first segment this year the namna they are the first segment of the small intestine okay and uh, what do they do these duodenum they are responsible for the continuous breaking down process means whatever food you are consuming in na uh, means uh, from the mouth it will come to the stomach and then from the stomach it will again come to the small intestine so this duodenum will be the first one to receive the food whatever you have uh, means from the stomach now whatever food will be coming in so this duodenum is the first one which they will be receiving okay so what will they do they will, they are responsible for continuous breakdown process means again they will break down the food whatever you have been consuming huh? whatever food you have been consuming uh, they are they are the first one who will break down the food okay are you clear about duodenum and uh, the next is the jejunum and the ileum which is in the lower part of the uh, duodenum okay what will they do this uh, this two uh, parts what will they do jejunum and the ileum they are responsible for absorption of nutrients into the blood stream means whatever food uh, it will come na, from the duodenum whatever nutrients whatever good good nutrients um, are coming from the duodenum this jejunum and the ileum they will absorb they will absorb all those nutrients and they will flow towards the blood stream they will flow in the blood stream okay are you clear now is it clear to you about small intestine any doubts do you have any doubts in the small intestine anyone next is liver uh, what is this uh huh ma'am no what was that line written which one this one um, uh, no, it is it, largely responsible for the. Oh, this one is largely continuous. responsible for the continuous breaking down process. Means whatever food it will come from this uh, stomach now again it will break down. Okay, means in order to get digested, in order the in order for the food to be in a little amount. Okay, because again. Uh, the fun again to function, isn't it? If you go downside, also again to have to function. So for that they have to make it small. So for that reason they have to break it. Okay, and this uh, duodenum they are responsible for breaking down. Means they will break into smaller particles. Whatever food is coming from the uh, stomach, na? Again they will break it. Okay, are you clear now? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's move to the next. That is liver. This is the liver. Okay, this is the liver. So liver is what is the large? It is the second largest organ in the human body. Okay, organ. What is the largest organ in the human body? Anybody knows? The first one. This is the second liver. To its second organ. What is the? Mm. Huh? anybody skin yeah skin is the largest organ okay and this liver is the second largest after the skin and uh, this liver you can see that among the all the glands no? among all the glands which we have discussed in the endocrine gland this liver is the largest gland in the human body and the weight of the liver is 1500 gram okay and this liver where is located it is located in the upper right hand portion of the abdomen cavity means it lies in the upper upper side of your right right side okay in your right side upper portion upper portion of your abdominal cavity it lies beneath the diaphragm and on the top of the stomach okay so your, your liver lies there and what is the shape 
the shape of the lever is like a cone do you know cone cone uh, means do you have ice cream in ice cream can you see cone no means cone that one is known as cone okay it's like triangular shape okay so lever is like a cone and the color of the lever is reddish brown organ means it's a uh, dark it's dark in color but it's reddish reddish and brown mix together so uh, that is about the liver are you clear liver is the largest gland in the human body okay and um, the the weight of the liver is 1500 gram and um, which Okay, and the shape of the uh, kidney, uh, sorry, and the shape of the liver is cone shape, and the color of uh, liver is a dark, dark reddish and brown in color. Okay, and where do where does this liver lie? They lie in the this one right side of your abdomen, beneath the diaphragm. Okay, and at the top of your stomach, this liver lies there. Okay, are you clear? Okay, so this liver now again is divided into two parts. It is right lobe, this is the right lobe, and this is the left lobe. Okay, this is the right and the left lobe. Don't forget right lobe and the left lobe. Okay, and what is the function of this liver? The function of the liver is to absorb all the nutrients from the small intestine. This liver, what will they do? Whatever food is coming from the small intestine they will absorb all the nutrients okay they will absorb all the nutrients from the small intestine and this is bile okay this bile uh, which is uh, located near the liver what, what will this do they will digest fat they will digest fat and some vitamins also they are responsible this bile now they are responsible for uh, digesting fat and as well as some vitamins also okay and this liver and this liver it has got one important function also what is the important function it de uh, it detoxifies detoxifies means what means they will clean out all the harmful chemicals whatever is there inside your body okay whatever harmful chemicals are there inside your body it will clean up Detoxify means that we're cleaning out, cleaning out all the toxic, uh, means poisonous things from your body. That one is called detoxification. Okay, the, uh, this liver they will detoxif detoxification of harmful chemicals will be done. Okay, and this one same thing. It breaks down and secrete many drugs that can be toxic to their body. Means whatever is harmful for your body, uh, it will clean out. They will uh, they will just strip it away. Okay, are you clear about liver? Are you clear? Repeat. Okay. Okay, we were discussing about anatomy practical, okay, specimen of digestive system which are the visceral organs. Visceral organs also you can see, visceral organs also we can see. Okay, so what is this visceral organs? Visceral organs are the internal organs which is inside your body, okay, not outside your body. So these are the visceral organs which we will be studying. So, uh, in the digestive system part, we can see that uh, we have got the small intestine. Okay, this small intestine they are responsible or they play an important role in the digestive system part or else the gastrointestinal part. Okay, so this small intestine nah, they are divided into three parts or three segments. This one. The first one is the duodenum, this first one, second one is the jejunum, this part, and the last and the third one is the ileum, this one. Okay, and this small intestine, 
and this small intestine they are convoluted okay convoluted long muscular tube means they are coiled they are uh, coiled you can say that okay it means they are not straight they are like this in this coiled okay they are coiled together and they are uh, the length of the small intestine is 22 feet okay and it will convert into meter 6 6.7 meter you can say approximately the length of the small intestine okay and uh, this one this small intestine uh, which is divided into three parts that is the duodenum jejunum and the ileum all these three parts also they have got different different functions okay the first one which is the duodenum what will they do they are responsible for the breaking down process okay which is coming from the uh, this one small uh, this one stomach okay whatever food is being consumed it will come to the stomach and afterwards it will go down as it goes down first it will plan it or first it will come in in the duodenum okay and this duodenum what will they do again they will break it into smaller particles okay this duodenum they will break uh, all the food into smaller particles okay and the second one which is the jejunum what will they do this jejunum uh, and the ileum they play an important role in absorbing the nutrients okay absorbing all the nutrients and where will they uh, where will they put in they will put it in the uh, bloodstream okay they will absorb all the nutrients and after absorbing what will they do this jejunum and the ileum they will pass it into the bloodstream of the human body okay are you clear about small intestine is everyone clear no. i will ask you huh, one by one after this after explanation i'll ask you so pay, please pay attention to it are you clear enough yes I think. okay okay next is the liver okay in, in this liver what will you get uh, the, this is the liver okay this which will you will you get in the lab in the laboratory class okay, so i have collected this specimen so this liver is what this liver is the largest gland okay and if you see in the organ part the liver is the second largest organ after the skin okay this liver is the largest organ and it is the largest gland among all the glands which you ha uh, which you have got in the endocrine system part okay so the weight of this uh, the weight of this liver what is the weight the weight is 1500 gram okay and where this liver will lie the liver will lie in the right hand side right hand side of the ab your abdomen okay your abdomen is uh, somewhere in your stomach part means lower lower part okay so where will it lie it lie in the right hand portion of the abdominal cavity downside of your diaphragm and at the top of your stomach okay so the liver will lie there and what is the shape of the liver the shape of the liver is like a cone you know na cone i think everybody knows the meaning of cone it's like a uh, triangular in shape okay so and the and the color of this uh, liver what is the color of the liver they are dark red or dark red and brown mixed together okay so the color of the liver is dark reddish brown color are you clear okay so the human liver no? this liver they are again divided into two lobes means two parts you can say what are those right lobe this is the right lobe and this is the left lobe okay right lobe and the left lobe so what is the main function of the liver the main function of the liver is uh, to absorb all the nutrients from the small intestine okay and another function is that it 
दिस लीवर ना दे डिटॉक्सिफाई डिटॉक्सिफाई मींस दे विल दे विल मेक द ह्यूमन बॉडी प्योर यू कैन से ह्यूमन मींस ऑल द इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स ना मींस ऑल द हार्मफुल थिंग्स दे विल मेक इट प्योर मींस दे विल मेक इट क्लीन फ्रॉम ऑल द बैक्टीरिया ओके फ्रॉम ऑल द टॉक्सिक ड्रग्स व्हिच यू हैव टेकन ऑल दिस थिंग्स दे विल दे विल मेक इट प्योर दे विल मेक इट क्लीन ओके एंड दिस लीवर near this liver this is bile is attached isn't it so this bile what will they do they play an important role for digesting the fats and also some vitamins okay are you clear is it clear to you is it clear please respond yes ma'am okay okay then okay caroline caroline can you hear me Caroline can you hear me or not Ha huh, can you hear me Caroline Rachel ta ta Ha Am I audible Caroline Okay then Marcy 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 am I audible to you Hello Yes ma'am Okay Can you tell me what is the length of the small intestine Pardon, ma'am. What is the length of the small intestine? Length. Uh. See this and see. What is the length? See this and see. How long is it? Means what is the length of the small intestine? You see this and say. Twenty-two foot long. Hmm. Or if you convert into meters, it is six point seven to seven point six meters. Okay. And approximately twenty-two to twenty-two, uh, twenty-five feet. Understand? Don't forget. Okay, Moi Chong. Moi Chong, can you hear me, Moi Chong? Moi Chong, can you hear me? Okay, Rani. Rani, view. Yes. Okay. so small intestine na it is divided into three parts isn't it small intestine yes, ha huh, can you name them yes ma'am ha huh, name them it's jejunum ha it's jejunum jejunum and ileum jejunum then duodenum ha huh, and, and ileum okay are you ileum. sure Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
Okay, good. Okay, Rub Jyoti Bora. Rub Jyoti. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you tell me the function of uh, helium? Helium and jejunum, which is in the small intestine. What are the functions? Huh? Can you tell me the functions? No, ma'am, I think. No, ma'am. Why? I already explained to you. See this. See this. Can yeah. you see it? Ah, okay, you tell now. What is... See this and see. See this and say. Ye dekke bolo. Jejunam ilium. I'm actually, I'm... Mera yame dikhai nahi de raha, mame see liya. Okay, baki log dikhai de raha hai. Miss others, can you see? I have a mobile car and I have a missile. What is the problem? I'm the last line. Can you repeat me? Which one? The jejunum. I'm the last line. Okay. The jejunum and ileum lower in the intestine are mainly responsible for absorption of nutrients into the bloodstream. Okay. Can you see it, John Deep? Yes. Okay. Means, Rup Jyoti. Yes, I'm repeating again, okay? Jejunum and helium. Okay, I mean, small intestine mein three parts. One is jejunum, dusra hai jejunum, and the third is helium. Okay? So, what does jejunum do? What does the first part do? It breaks down. When we eat food, it comes to the stomach, or not? So, it comes to the stomach, and if it comes to the stomach, and if it comes to the क्या होगा फर्स्ट पार्ट डिओजेनम हाँ डिओजेनम क्या करेगा डिओजेनम फर्स्ट पार्ट ये जो सारे खाने मतलब जहाँ से मतलब स्टमक से जहाँ से आ रहे वो डिओजेनम क्या करेगा ब्रेक डाउन करेगा ठीक है छोटा छोटा करके बना बना देगा ठीक है उसके बाद क्या करेगा जेजेनम एंड इलियम जेजेनम एंड इलियम क्या करेगा वो लोग एब्सॉर्ब करेगा ज जेजनम से आ रहा है ना जेजनम से जो खाने आ रहा है जो सारे चीजें को मतलब ये जेजनम और हीलियम एब्सोर्ब करेगा एब्सोर्ब करने के बाद कहा जाएगा ब्लड स्ट्रीम ब्लड स्ट्रीम की तरफ मतलब देवल पास पास करेंगे वो लोग ठीक है ओके मैम अभी समझ में आया यस मैम ओके बोलो अभी क्या बोला मैंने जेजनम और हीलियम क्या करेगा वो एब्सोर्ब करेगा खाना को जो जिन्हें हम जो ब्रेकडाउन करेगा खाना को तो जिन्हें हम हिलियम है उसको एब्सोर्ब करेगा हाँ हाँ एब्सोर्ब एब्सोर्ब करने के बाद कहाँ लेके जाएगा तू ब्लड स्ट्रीम हाँ ब्लड स्ट्रीम ओके डोंट फॉरगेट हाँ मत भूलना ओके ताऊ याती Tau Yati? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What is the largest gland in the human body? Gland. Liver, ma'am. Liver? Oh, it's okay. No, no, ma'am. Skin, skin. Skin is the largest organ. I'm talking oh. about gland. G-L-A-N-D oh, oh. gland. Largest gland? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I just now I have explained, na. Oh. Liver. Liver is the largest gland. Don't get confused. Okay, okay. Can you tell me at least one uh, function of liver? At least one function. Um, then detoxify them. Detoxification, okay. Detoxification का मतलब क्या है? 
मैम वो जो फिल्टरेशन uh, करना uh, साफ करना ऐसे हां साफ करना ठीक है हार्मफुल हार्मफुल जो जो हार्मफुल है हम लोग के बॉडी के लिए मतलब टॉक्सिक है पॉइजनस है वो सबको मतलब क्लीन करेगा ये लीवर ठीक है समझ में आया ओके एनी डाउट्स ओके ओके थुलुंगा नर्सरी थुलुंगा नर्सरी कैन यू हियर मी थुलुंगा हां कैन यू हियर मी थुलुंगा ओके सलमी देव वर्मा सलमी कैन यू हियर मी सलमी कैन यू हियर मी हेलो हेलो सलमी कैन यू हियर मी हेलो ओके साइमन साइमन देव वर्मा साइमन देव वर्मा कैन यू हियर मी साइमन कैन यू हियर मी ऑन नॉट साइमन हेलो ओके सजारिका सजारिका कैन यू हियर मी सजारिका कैन यू हियर मी सजारिका यस मैम ओके व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय विसरल ऑर्गन्स और विसरा ऑर्गन्स व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय विसरल ऑर्गन्स और विसरा ऑर्गन्स पॉइंटिंग हाँ हाँ, see this, I'm pointing it. What what is it written? What it is written in the screen? Read this. Internal organ. हाँ, huh. visceral organs are also known as internal organs. Okay, are you clear now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, don't get confused, huh? Okay. Are you clear now, everyone? What do you mean by visceral organs? What do you mean by uh, I mean small intestine, large intestine? Okay. Are you clear now? Now. Everyone. Everyone. 